You're listening to Morakai Memento. Delve deep into your imagination and experience a fantastical and enchanting journey. If you're willing and able, please support me on Patreon and with super thanks. Now, let's awaken your most passionate desires. One of the amazing things about hypnosis is that you can experience things that you couldn't experience in real life. Well, at least without severe physical damage. For example, let's think about the medieval torture device, the scavenger's daughter. There's several iterations of this device. We're going to focus on just one, though. The one that, by tightening the screw, compresses you tighter and tighter. This can cause a wide array of physical damage. But with hypnosis, you can have all of the fun with none of the responsibility. That is to say, all of the intense agony without any of the physical damage. Now, you know why you've come here. We can agree on that. And you've gotten yourself into a comfortable position, or you will do so. You want to delve into things you couldn't do in reality. That's right. So relax. Allow your worries to melt away. The day around you disappears. Close your eyes and let that amazing state of intense, focused relaxation envelop you. That's right. And as you listen to my voice, you sink deeper and deeper into this beautiful, blissful state. Your mind is free and unburdened. Your mind relaxes. Your body relaxes, sinking deep into your seat. And in your mind's eye, you perceive a dungeon around you. And I am your torturer. In your weakened state, you can't resist me. I approach you with a scavenger's daughter in hand. I smile sweetly at you. I'm not torturing you for information. I'm torturing you for my personal pleasure. I begin by fitting the scavenger's daughter around your head. In many images, it goes around the neck, but we're putting it around your head. You feel the cold metal press against your cheek. Dip under your chin. I slide your arms into the armholes. You fit in perfectly. The straights of the bars run along either side of your ribs. I jam your ankles 
into the ankle holders at the bottom. And I yank you up into a kneeling position. Your butt on your heels. And the bars running straight up your ribs. To the bottom of your neck. And around the top of your head. The metal sends cool shivers through your whole body. Your naked body. Because you know in dungeons like this, you're not wearing anything. This is just like it would have been in medieval times. And you kneel there, looking up at me with pleading eyes, and I don't give a shit about what you're thinking. All I can focus on is what's coming next, the intense pleasure that's going to course through my body when I hear you scream. And of course, while you scream in agony, there's also a thrill of pleasure that suffuses your entire being. You know that you're suffering from my joy, as you should be. I begin to turn the screw, and you feel the compression start. Slowly, ever so slowly, you feel a light pressure on your cheeks, the sides of your head, your ribs. Nothing you can't handle. Just a little loving squeeze. From the scavenger's daughter, guided by my hand. I can see the flickers of hope dance in your eyes. You think you'll be able to take it. I assure you, many a person stronger than you has cried, begged, and soiled themselves, pleading for me to stop. So I don't think you can take it, but it's fun to see you try. I continue to turn the screw, and the pressure gets tighter and tighter. Your head and your chest start to get narrower. Distending and deforming in a shape that they were never intended to be. I tighten it some more and you hear crunching. What could that crunching be? The crunching is followed by searing jolts of pain in your head and ribs. Your bones are cracking, and you wonder how much more will I turn it? Will I disfigure you, shatter your skull, burst all of your ribs, compress all of your internal organs? The options are endless. But for now, I'm just going to take a moment and watch you tremble. Watch the terror in your eyes as you wonder what I'm going to do next. I think this will be the first of many sessions for you. I'm not ready to be done, though. I turn the screw again, and you hear an audible crack. And there, finally, I see what I've been looking for. A 
little bit of blood starts to trickle out your nose. Like a crimson tear cried just for me. I feel so deeply satisfied. And that crimson tear is soon diluted by your watery ones. I knew you weren't a strong person. I can break you easily, and I haven't even begun to finish you off. I reach down to the screw, and you start to weep. But I unscrew it, releasing the pressure, allowing you to relax from your torturous compression. And you know, in a few moments' time, you'll be able to get out of the position you're cramped in. I continue to unscrew it, and you fill your lungs with wonderful air. Such joyous air, it's never tasted so sweet. See, I'm teaching you the value of your life, how to treasure the small things. And finally, I remove the device from you. No more cool kiss of the scavenger's daughter. And your mind's eye begins to close. And you rest for a moment, taking stock of your body. And three, you start to feel how whole and well you are. Two, your eye is open, and one, welcome back to the waking world. Hi! Did you have a fun little journey? Let's do this again. <laughs>